regreso aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Seguimos con los temas del Auto Show de Los Ángeles, eh, porque a pesar de que ya la semana pasada tuvimos un show completo dedicado a esto, hay muchos temas que tratar. Eh, y estando ahí tuvimos la oportunidad, eh, bastante única diría yo, de probar el nuevo Hyundai Tucson Fuel Cell que funciona con uh, celdas de hidrógeno, que va a estar disponible inicialmente solo en California a partir del año próximo. Y aquí está la entrevista que hicimos con uno de los ejecutivos de la Hyundai manejando este Tucson Fuel Cell. Hi, how are you? How are you? Excellent. We're in a very special car, I understand. Yes, this is the new Tucson Hydrogen Fuel Cell vehicle. This, we are bringing this to market in uh, spring of 2014. Yeah, and uh, so this is a fuel cell, different from an electric car, but it has a huge advantage compared to an electric car, right? Yeah, and the basic difference is with an electric vehicle, there's all the power is stored on board through large batteries. The, uh, with a fuel cell vehicle, the power is actually generated on board with the fuel cell stack. So it's a completely different philosophy of uh, electric vehicle. And Hyundai considers it the next generation of electric vehicle. So, And you say it's going to be available next, uh, next year? Uh, yes, it will be available in spring of 2014. And we're going to make it available to customers through a very attractive $499 lease per month for three years. And that includes unlimited fuel. also includes um, Hyundai's assurance program, which includes complete service. We'll pick up and deliver uh, the vehicle for, from your driveway for any service and give you a loan vehicle during that period. Very, very convenient and all my maintenance is covered. So it's a very carefree, uh, confident way to drive a fuel cell vehicle. But it's going to be limited to California at the beginning, I understand? Right in the beginning, we're going to, we're going to be in the Los Angeles and Orange County area. Uh, that's where the concentration of uh, hydrogen uh, fueling stations is currently. And so that's where we'll start. Um, that's going to be the most beneficial for consumers. Very easy to refuel. They have several options along their daily commute, their daily lifestyle. And so it's going to be a very seamless transition for them in that area. And uh, at this point, uh, even though obviously you have the technology to develop this car, uh, the infrastructure is not there. And that's the limitation, right? Right. Yeah, uh, the, there's around almost 10 stations in Southern California right now. So if you live in that area, uh, it's very feasible to have a hydrogen vehicle meet your daily needs. Uh, as you move away from that, that concentration, of course, it's, it's not going to be a perfect fit for those consumers. But uh, we're on Hyundai.com right now, we have uh, uh, the consumers can, can go online, uh, indicate their interest, and uh, based on their uh, suitability for the vehicle, uh, they ha they'll have the opportunity to lease the vehicle for $4.99 a month. And again, it includes all, of it, all the fuel for three years. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah. And all the maintenance, the maintenance services, the conditions. And how, how is that set up? Because if you said that the fuel is uh, included, they go and they get a card or something? Or how is that the process going to be? Uh, we, I, we haven't determined that as a company yet, but it would either be some type of private card or code that would enable them to fuel at the different stations. So uh, we'll work out the details of that, but we are committing to uh, providing the fuel at no charge to, to those customers. And again, the fuel is hydrogen. The fuel is hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, there there's, uh, have been other companies that have developed these kind of cars, but they really haven't put it into... Well, I, I guess in some experimental way, but this is not experimental. This is already like anybody can go out and, and try to get this car ready. Yeah, right? in, in this this spring, it'll be a genuine uh, Hyundai mass-produced fuel cell vehicle. This is the first mass-produced fuel cell vehicle. That's one of its differentiators in the market. The others have been produced, but not necessarily in a mass production scale. This is produced at our old sun plant in Korea, and it is uh, it's on the spur line of the main Tucson uh, gasoline-powered Yeah. production. So that helps uh, with production quality, helps with speed, of, speed and efficiency of production. Obviously, there are many benefits in using that Tucson line. Yeah. And um, so, obviously, it's more efficient than a gas car and an electric car. How, how was that? I mean, I'm, we're driving here around in L.A., at, around the convention center in, uh, in Los Angeles. I mean, the we're going that fast, but I mean, the, the performance of the car is similar to, to a, the regular car, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can feel the electric motor torque as you're driving. It's instantaneous. There's no delay. Electric motors, by the way they work, the torque is instantaneous. There's no ramp up like in a gasoline powered vehicle. So it's like an electric vehicle torque, okay, uh, with great drivability. The only thing that you don't see or hear or feel is that that electricity is being generated on board. So it's being generated quietly while we while we sit here uh, through airflow um, and, and the fuel cell process. 
and uh, that 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 electricity is being replenished for the for the motors to be driven. So that's how the the, the system interacts. You put hydrogen into the car, and then the hydrogen generates the electricity for the engine to move. That's the right. The fuel cell uses the hydrogen to, to generate electricity, and that electricity is burned as or used as we um, as we as we drive. So. That's the big difference between a battery electric vehicle. You have to battery electric vehicle. You have to take time to fill the batteries with electricity. It takes a, a, lot, a fairly long time. Uh, so if you drive somewhere, you need to allow for time to recharge. Whereas with the fuel cell vehicle, the refueling period is about 10 minutes. So it's very similar to a gasoline-powered okay. driving experience. If you go somewhere, you don't have to worry. Oh, I must take several hours to refuel. You can refuel in about 10 minutes. So you can refuel, keep moving. Yeah. And, uh, so you said like the, the stations, the refueling stations are around uh, LA and um, Orange County. Uh, yes, uh, there, there are along the main, main concentrations along the 405 freeway uh, that curves along the uh, South Bay and down to Orange County. That's a big concentration. Um, you know, Southern California has has one of the largest concentrations in the United States. It's the densest densest uh, concentration. But obviously, this is uh, going to be the future, right? I think. Well, Hyundai certainly uh, is, is believes that in the future it is the next generation of electric vehicle. Producing electricity on board um, is definitely very efficient. So, four ninety five for three uh, a month for three years. Uh, is there a down payment involved in that? There is a twenty nine ninety nine down payment. Uh, there's also a California uh, rebate program that uh, allows for for these these people to have twenty five hundred dollars credited to them as part of this California rebate program. So, a lot of that. A lot of that would be compensated for uh, in the program, so it's very, very attractive lease. Once you include the fuel, the service, the vehicle use, um, the rebates that are involved, you know, it's a very, very attractive uh, lease. And what happens at the end of the lease, Sega? They have to return because, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in three years. Right? Well, the vehicle, would, the vehicle would be returned to Hyundai, and Hyundai will, will, will make use of the vehicle. Uh, but the consumer doesn't need to worry about that. No, they, 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 there's going to probably be a newer model by then. Uh, yeah, the, the um, this is the current generation that we're offering, and of course we're looking at the future, but we can't talk about the yeah. future. future it's probably doesn't even know. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we, we know, we know some things, but we can't talk about it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Very interesting. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.